BC may produce big trees, but in Saskatchewan they grow big hockey players. Last week we focused on Colton Heffley. This week it's Canwood's Tanner Moore, another six foot three inch 17 year old who is trying to establish himself on a young Kelowna Rockets team, mostly in a physical energy role. No, the physical part is is definitely probably one of my favorites. Just it just gets you going, it gets you in the game, and it gets you uh, your adrenaline pumping, and then you're in the game and ready for anything. When he gets on the body and uh, gets in there and gets his nose dirty, he can be pretty effective. Um, he obviously in his first year he's not playing a huge role with the team, but I think he's provided us with some pretty big minutes with all the injuries that we've dealt with this year. And I try to just go out there and you know get the puck in deep, forecheck, and tire their D man out so that our other guys can go in and make them skate around even more and you know get some points off of that. Moore is trying a style similar to his cousin, Penguins Chris Kunitz, a physical player with decent speed and soft hands. Just kind of the hard-working energy guy, get in somebody's face, you know, try to make them mad and make them off their game and mad at you, not not playing their game. So He's a pretty skilled guy too, I mean he gets the goals, right? Yeah, yeah, he gets the goals and I've tried to do that too, you know, maybe not as good as him, but I've been trying. Canwood is a small town of about 300 northwest of Prince Albert. It's where Moore grew up and played minor hockey, where, save for one year of Bantam, he spent most of his time on the blue line. I'm not an offensively skilled guy, but I can just go out there and use my body and stuff like that and try to get the other guys that are offensively skilled to puck. And it's not too much, it's just more, a little more skating than defense. The seventh round pick, 141st overall in the 2009 Bantam draft, loves to battle along the walls. Offensively, he has just four goals in 60 games, but that's more a reflection of a lack of both quality ice time and experience than anything. Like a lot of tall players, Moore needs to focus on his skating and getting off the mark or away from a check in second gear. Open ice, he, he's got uh, he's got pretty good speed, but uh, the quickness thing is going to have to be improved upon. And that you can say that about every guy that's in this league. That if you want to continue to have chances to play and be a, a good, effective player, you got to continually improve your foot speed. So he's a big, lanky kid right now. But you know, when that frame fills out and, and, and as he gets stronger, then uh, you know he's got all the potential to to get those quick feet and, and be a very effective player. I did some power skating in the summers and then uh, they've got the coach out working with us for a few of us and yeah it's been even just he's just doing little starts and stops and stuff like that and just different ways to skate and it's improving a lot and you just got to keep working on it if you don't if you don't work on it you're not going to get any better. It's not the days of doing the bench press and, and things like that and getting the big upper body so much uh, these days is about your leg power and your leg quickness and having that speed and and yeah, it's just it really so much of it comes from your, your training in the summer and how dedicated you are to that. For more on Tanner Moore and all his teammates, check out KelownaRockets.com.